Welcome everyone, it's Jay with Tech Broadcast. What I actually have here is a quick overview unboxing of the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is a shotgun on-camera microphone. Uh, this is their new uh, Pro R version, which, which was just released a couple weeks ago. Uh, just look at the outside boxing here. Uh, if you're not familiar with this microphone, look up the previous model, which you can get a little cheaper. Uh, but it's a very high quality microphone, especially for the price point if you're looking to shoot with a DSLR. A uh, few of the specs here, it does have the Roku uh, shock mount, the new shock mount on it. It's compact and lightweight, which I will show you here in a second. Three level controls, minus 10 decibel, zero and plus 10 decibel, which is important for any type of video DSLR work. It gives you a little control over your audio quality and your levels. Uh, you got 3.5 millimeter jack and your standard uh, shoe mount, which most DSLRs run nowadays. And you do have a 10 year warranty if you register the product uh, online on road. So make sure you do that. Otherwise it's a one year warranty. Now just getting out of the box here, it is pretty similar to the previous model. There's a few different uh, things here. This is just the manual, which you will need to install the battery. If you have not done this before, they still have the old battery install. It comes with the, uh, a nine volt battery or it doesn't come with a nine volt battery but you need a nine volt battery to be able to run this and it's a little tricky to actually get the cover off so uh, keep that in mind when you're installing it and there's just the microphone here it actually has a foam padding around the microphone which will eliminate a little bit of noise it is not a wind block uh, uh, mount that you can put around it uh, but it does give a little padding and it does condense the noise a little bit and block out some of that wind or any type of uh, movement around. These are the, actually the new uh, mount here that you can see it. They used to have previous model had a rubber band that actually used to go around it, two of them, and it was real difficult. They used to fall off all the time, so I definitely like that they they have upgraded that to that. They do feel a little plasticky, so be careful with that. Uh, this is a very lightweight shotgun microphone, and there's your standard 3.5 millimeter jack, which will connect to about any DSLR out there that actually has an input. Uh, for a microphone. I haven't tried it on anything else, uh, like a camera, or not a camera, a phone, or anything like that. Uh, as your standard shoe mount uh, for any DSLR, and then it's just got a screw there to tighten onto it. And if we just look here at the back, this is where you're actually going to control everything. It actually has uh, two different volumes. It has your standard off, and then it has your on, and then it has your uh, high pass filter on, which I will probably recommend using for a DSLR. And then on the bottom, you got your three uh, decibel settings, minus 10, zero, and plus 20. Uh, plus 20 is usually pretty good for a DSLR. Uh, test with your settings. Every DSLR is a little different. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind when you're setting it up. And right there is actually where you install the battery. This is something that I wish they would have improved upon is a little better way to install the battery. But once you get it in, you're actually usually pretty good to go. Uh, but that is a little difficult to get on and off. So that's it guys, that has been my unboxing and overview of the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the R edition that just came out a few weeks ago. If you're looking to improve your quality audio, especially on a DSLR, this is the way to go, especially if you're shooting with something like a Canon 5D Mark II or III or any of the Nikon uh, equivalent systems. Uh, it'll improve your audio and especially get compared to what it actually has internally. That's it guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.